Hey, what's up, guys? This is One Shot Zero Kills or Davidy, and today I'm going to be showing you my new Minecraft mod, in-game NBT edit for Minecraft Forge. All right, so let's get started. All right, so the main premise of this mod is this: you go up to an entity or tile entity, and then use command NBT edit, and now you can edit uh, the NBT tags for that entity. So look, you have this beautiful list, and you can edit all of it. Alright, so the first thing that I'm going to show you guys is how you can make it so that entities can't die. So, go to the invulnerable tag, and set the value to 1, hit save, and then save again, and then try to kill the entity, it won't work. He's now invulnerable. He can't die. Well, unless it kills himself, I guess. Alright, now, I'm going to show you how you can make it so that zombies pick up armor and uh, swords and stuff and then actually wear it. So, I'm gonna spawn a zombie. I don't see any around, so I'm gonna spawn one. There's a zombie, let me give myself some armor. All right. And I'll just go in NBT edit, hit can pick up loot, and then set the value to one. And now you can actually give it loot. There you go, he's now fully armed. Let's let's try to kill him. One. If I counted right, that took 14 hits. That's a ton. That zombie is so overpowered. But anyway, let's move on. And now I'm going to show you guys how you can edit player heads. So you'll see him over here. I'm going to show you how you can do that. Alright, so go into survival, get a player head right there. And now if you place it down, you'll see that it's the right by default it's the regular Steve texture. If you use MBT edit, you can change this. Just go to the extra type tag and then set the value to the username of the player. So for me, I'm Davey One, so I'm gonna hit type in Davey One and hit save. And then there you go. That's me, that's my head. Look, it's beautiful, right? All right, now I'm gonna show you how, can, how you can actually edit the item. So I'm gonna spawn a chest. Now put the head in the chest, and then edit the chest. Go down to items. This is the head. Now add a new compound tag. Name it tag. All right, now then add a new string. Call it skull owner make sure you have the caps and then Davey one hit save and there you go that's my head all right now you can actually edit some other stuff about the item you can edit the name and you can edit the lore associated with the item so go back to the item go back to this tag and then add a new compound name it display make sure you're in lowercase though lowercase and then add a new string. It's name with a capital N. Name. And then uh, whatever you want the item to be called. So I'm going to name it Davidy's Head. And then you could also add lore about it. So go to this display, add a new list. Then name it Lore, capital L. And then add a string. I'm going to make it the creator. So I'm just going to hit save and save that. And now David, Davidy's head, the creator. Pretty cool. And now you can also copy this stuff. So go back to the NBT edit. Items list. So, uh, select this tag compound. Copy it. Then go to the parent. Hit paste. And then I'm going to edit the slot. And edit uh, the head itself. Set it to good. And I'm going to change display as well. Typos. Good head. And then the lore. The boulder fist. Alright. Save. There we go. Good head. The boulder fist. David's head. The creator. Place him down. There you go. Great, right? Alright, now I'm going to show you another thing. 
you can actually edit spawners in game so give yourself a spawner go get it there we go place it down and then use nbt edit no nbt edit there we go all right now go all the way down to entity id this is what you need to change to change uh what mob actually spawns i'm going to change it to creeper but make sure when you're typing this in that you get the right name uh, I would go check on the wiki. They have a list of entity names. Because uh, if you get it wrong, your Minecraft could crash. So be careful. And hit save. And there you go. It now spawns creepers. Let's set the time to night. And wait for some to spawn. Stupid pig. Eh, I'm getting impatient. Let's make it spawn faster, right? Hmm. Okay, I'm going to change the spawn delays. Uh, increase the spawn count and the spawn range. Alright, that should do it. Oh, there's one. Wait for more. Set it again. Taking too long, you know. There we go. A little faster. Alright, so it'll spawn eventually. Oh, there's one. Alright, now I want to make it spawn power creepers. You can actually do this in game with this mod. So go to the root, add a new compound tag, and name it spawn data with capital S, capital D, hit save, and then add a new byte to that. Name it powered, lowercase p, set the value to one, and hit save, and there you go, power creepers. It's pretty cool, it even displays it in there. Man, they're spawning like crazy. See how really evil this mod can make minecraft like if you're a map creator this spawn right here would destroy everything before it destroys itself of course but yeah all right now that's cool and all but let's make it better all right so let's place a spawner let's make it spawn zombies not just any kind of zombies it's a zombie Add the spawn data tag. Now add a new byte. Is villager. Set that to one. And now add another byte. Is baby. Set that to one. Hit save. And there we go. Baby villager zombies. Yep. You can make those spawn. Right, let's wait for it. Wait, let's not. Let's edit it so it spawns a lot faster. Make it 50 this time. Let's make it crazy. Alright, let's save that. Alright, here we go. Look at them. Pretty cool, right? And now you could also do other stuff with other mobs, such as like skeletons, and make them spawn uh, the wither skeletons. Uh, really, if you want to use this mod, I suggest that you look on the wiki. The wiki has a lot of save information and stuff dealing with NBT tags. Uh, the links to those pages are on the Minecraft forums and the topic for this mod. And the link to the, the topic for this mod will be in the description. So just check your description, go download the mod, and then go check out the wiki. Alright, so one last thing. Say that you have a chest in another world that you want copied to this world, or perhaps you're playing in multiplayer with your friend, uh, and say that for some reason, and you're playing some custom adventure map, and they don't give you two chests, well, you could solve that problem quite easily. So I'm going to go into my main world, and then you'll see, nice dog. I have a nice chest right here. Like, I want that diamond pickaxe and those music discs and all that stuff. So I'm going to go to the chest. 
Type in NBT edit. All right. I'm just gonna go to this items tag and hit copy right there, or you can hit Control V. I mean Control C. You can hit Control C to copy. Control V is paste. I'm gonna quit. Go back to the the other world. NBT edit. All right. I'm gonna place this chest. NBT edit it. Go to this items tag, delete it, and then paste, then save, and then there we go. All of those items are copied. Alright, that's it for this video. If you guys want to know how to do uh, some other stuff with this mod, uh, more advanced stuff, just let me know in the comments, and I'll see what I can do.